Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Oklahoma. This is our small cotton farming series. And last time we were having quite a bit of issues with this planter. Turns out JHHG released an update to it which has fixed all of the issues that we were running into. I just did a single test pass here and we're correctly using up our liquid fertilizer now as we're planting and so all is well in the world we're gonna jump right back into uh, some of our planting here we've got cotton to put into this cornfield now as well and so we're gonna get started on that here um, I'm gonna get a GPS track going and then we'll take a look at the precision farming screen here just to kind of show off uh, what's going on so if we get our cruise control going and then bring up our F1 menu we're gonna have to uh, switch over here a little bit and so you can see we're not using the ac um, automatic application rate because we're just applying 20 kilograms now I did put too much dry fertilizer down on this ground before so we're really not gonna need to come back and hit this again with a sprayer which is unfortunate because that was kind of what we were trying to do is uh, spread our uh, nitrogen application out a bit here you can see as we get a little bit further in, uh, we've got less fertilizer on the soil, so we are uh, uh, going to need to come back and hit some parts of this field. And so that's going to be good for what we're trying to do. Now we are skipping a few bits here and there with this planter, which is unfortunate. It sits just a little bit too far up here, and I'm really not sure what to do about that. Uh, there's not a lot I can do with this particular tractor to get the uh, planter to sit down a little bit farther, so that's unfortunate. Um, maybe we'll, if we uh, slow down a little bit here, we'll hit those spots a little bit better maybe? I'm not sure. That's a new and unfortunate development here. We're also now able to use auto width on this uh, planter, which is good. And so between the fertilizer fix and the GPS fix, we're definitely in a better spot. Um, I just wish that uh, it would sit down just a little bit farther, a little bit closer to the ground uh, so that we didn't have it uh, bouncing up and skipping some of these spots. We'll. Uh, turn back around here maybe and try and hit those at a little bit slower of a speed and see if uh, that solves our issue here or not. I don't think it's going to be a problem in the rest of the field. It looks like just along this headland we had some pretty uh, um, angled spots, but we'll find out here. The spot that we're about to hit is equally angled. And it looks like everything's kind of going fine as we go through this. And so I'm going to lift up here, I think, and turn back into that first row that we were on. And just see if we uh, hit this at a little bit lower speed, if it's going to handle planting these areas. It looks like it's working fine for that first spot. The second spot, though, we're just not planting. And so that's... Uh, that's unfortunate. No matter what speed we're at, it doesn't seem to be planting there. I'm going to turn around and see if we come at this from the other way. If uh, we can plant this spot, or if we're just going to have a few dead spots in this field. Um, a little bit unfortunate, but there's only so much that we can do about uh, this not really planting. So... I don't know. Maybe this is an issue with the planter. Maybe there's an issue with the way the field is set up. I don't know. We're going to try and go this way, as unrealistic as that is. We are able to plant it if we can hit it at the right angle. So, unfortunately, um, I don't think there's a lot we're going to be able to do about this unless we, you know, are trying to plant it at every which angle, which I really don't want to do. So... I think for purposes of today, it's only a couple spots. If it starts to become more of a problem, we may have to, you know, see what we can do to dig into that a little bit or go and hit those spots at a little bit different of an angle. But we're definitely uh, missing spots anytime we start to go fast. So we're going to keep our speed down, I think. And uh, yeah, there's just spots where we're not hitting. You can tell the planter's just not quite getting low enough here. 
and so I'm really not sure what we're gonna be able to do about that we may have to take a look at the uh, XML here again and uh, see what we can do to fix how far down the implement lowers it's always something here on uh, Kettered Farms it seems but regardless we're gonna be getting the rest of our cotton in today you can see we're going through our cotton seed pretty fast we're not using um, that much fertilizer but we are using uh, an appropriate amount of fertilizer right now we just jump back in here I think this 20 kilograms per uh, hectare is what we're looking for uh, I don't want to do more than that obviously because we're hitting the target numbers in the soil type that we're in in this part of the field and as we get just a little bit farther down the field here at about the uh, you know one-third mark a little bit more than halfway um, this part needs a different amount because it's a different soil type and we'll finish all that off with the spraying we do still need to get a sprayer here on the farm uh, we're gonna have to hit some uh, herbicide here after we're done with the planting cycle and then, like I've been talking about quite a bit here, we're also going to need to hit up some of that uh, nitrogen as the crop's coming up here and uh, needs that extra boost during the growing cycle. So, without further ado, let's jump into a bit of a montage here as we uh, finish up planting the cotton in this field. And as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, drop a like on the channel. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for daily farm sim content. All right, so we've managed to uh, run out of seed here right before the end of the field, unfortunately. I thought we were going to be able to make it. Was having such a great time getting some footage, and we're all out of seed. So we're going to go ahead and just get turned around here, get our boxes opened, and then we will uh, go ahead and grab our truck from, uh, I think we left it in the other field actually, so I'm going to hike over there and we're gonna get this truck. We've still got a fair amount of liquid fertilizer in the planter, so I don't think we're gonna need to do anything with that just yet, uh, but we will top it off just because we've got it. That was really close to smacking into that sign. We've gotta be careful here. We should have enough seed to top off the planter one more time here, I think. Uh, I'm not sure. We used up a good chunk of each of these pallets uh, the first two times we filled the planter up. I'm really hoping this is enough seed. I'd hate to have to run back up to the co-op just to pick up another pallet of seed when we probably only need a few bags. But uh, it is what it is. We've got to get this uh, crop in the ground today. 
We're burning through our cycles. I want to make sure we get an early crop planted so we have plenty of time for harvest, especially because I'm thinking we're trying to put the winter wheat in still this year. So uh, I'm really excited to kind of see how this uh, all plays out. And so we're going to put this right up behind here and load these uh, seed boxes up real quick. We had the uh, pickup a little bit too close to the planter, and so it was picking up the liquid fertilizer fill plane rather than the seeds. And so now we've got the seed all topped off, and we've got three bags of seed left, so I think this is going to be perfect. We are going to flip this tractor around here real quick and fill up the liquid fertilizer as long as we're here. We've only got, uh, uh, what? 50 gallons used up so far but we might as well top everything off as long as we're here we will be setting this tractor up for spraying up here pretty quick after we're done with planting so i think this will work out great and then we're gonna go ahead and just get this guy right back on course here and before we start planting because we will need to run off of the end we're using this grass as our end row we might as well pull this truck forward a little bit, make sure we strap our seed down so we don't lose it at some point as we're driving around. And we'll get right back into planting here. There we go. I'm noticing we've got a significant overlap here on our planter it looks like almost a full row over here so let's uh let's just see if we can optimize that just a little bit here that might have just been an artifact it looks like of where we came into the row here as we were getting turned back around i'm hoping this is gonna do all right it looks like we might actually miss a row here but sometimes yeah farming simulator is just a little bit awkward with its working widths and where it draws textures and stuff so everything's working out good here uh if we just pop open the f1 menu one more time you can see we are applying uh, liquid nitrogen at our 20 kilograms per hectare here as we want so we're just putting a little bit down we could be putting more down, but I'm liking this. Next year, we're going to get this all dialed in, and it's going to work amazing. So I'm really happy to see that we've sorted out all of our technical issues today. Uh, it's always frustrating for me when we record an episode, and uh, I just can't quite get everything uh, working appropriately. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this journey. And uh, I think the moral of the story here is use the updated 1720 by uh, JHHG modding. He made some fixes to uh, specializations and other things. And so the latest version that's on his Facebook page is working great for me. Um, no problems other than the little bit of ground that we're skipping when the terrain is uh, going up and down here. I think that that's just a function of it not quite sitting low enough here. Uh, the wheels aren't quite touching the ground most of the time, even when we're on the flat part here. And so I wish this thing was sitting down into the ground just a smidge more. And I think all of our problems would be resolved. So hopefully that's something that gets fixed here in the not too distant future. In the short term, I'm going to be obviously looking in to see how we can fix that ourselves. And uh, I'm sure it's just a quick one-line fix, so once I sort that out, we will definitely be sharing that on our uh, Discord channel as far as what you need to change to fix that up. Uh, and I'm sure I'll mention it in an upcoming video here as well. So with that, let's jump back into the planting here and see if we can wrap up the rest of this field today.
All right, so we're coming up here to our end row. We've got, looks like a pass and a half left, but we're running low on seed here. And so we're gonna go ahead and finish this last five feet, switching off of the worker that we were using to get all of our awesome footage here. And uh, I'm gonna pull this around, we'll get it set up. I'm curious to see. Oh, look at that. We're gonna get this all in this last pass. I think we are. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set down. We'll get our boxes opened up here and we'll top off our seed here uh, before the last pass. We've got uh, three bags left here on this trailer, so we should be good to go. Really hoping we can uh, we can make it with what we've got. I don't wanna have to buy more seed just to finish one pass left on this field. And so we're gonna see if we can back this trailer up here probably should have just pulled it around it's a long way to back a trailer up all right well let's fill this up real quick i don't know how much this is going to give us looks like we're going to be at 20 percent i'm not going to bother topping off the liquid fertilizer for this pass we're going to try and go with what we've got here we're going to turn our gps on to hopefully keep us centered here in this uh, row. Feels good to be on the last pass of planting here. Uh, we're gonna make it. I feel confident in our uh, seed quantity here. We're at 15%. It's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Somebody suggested in the comments that I should start using the, uh, what was it called, realistic seed mod. Uh, the one where uh, your seed is specific to the crop type you're planting absolutely agree we're gonna get that mod on here before we get into uh, seeding our wheat here later now in this particular save it won't make a lot of difference because we're either planting cotton with a planter or we'll be planting wheat most likely with the seeder uh, to start with the more research and people I talk to it sounds like it's pretty common to also rotate cotton and corn and so we're gonna start with wheat just because it'll be something a little bit different for us. But I could see us also maybe setting up some cotton and corn rotation at some point. Now that requires different headers uh, than doing wheat. And so part of why cotton and corn is interesting is because I could reuse the same planter to uh, hit our corn fields as I'm using to do our cotton fields. What I haven't come to understand yet is when they're doing cotton and corn rotation are they still keeping their corn on the wider rows so that they can reuse the same planter or do they adjust the row spacing on their planter to be 30 inch rows like is more common in uh row crop corn and so i'm really curious i don't know yet i've got to ask some more questions if you're a cotton farmer in the south and or you know a lot about this I would be love to hear from you in the comments as far as uh, how you rotate your cotton, what other crops you plant with cotton. Um, so far the two I've seen is either rotating with corn or wheat. I would love to hear from uh, people in the community though as far as what they've seen in real life. And uh, when you do see it, how do you see them uh, rotate corn in? That's something that's really intriguing to me. Uh, I'm curious what the row spacing is on the rotated corn. And what you're using that corn for, is it a typical uh, corn where you're harvesting it and bringing it up to the elevator? Or are they uh, doing more silage and stuff with it? I'm not sure. So we're going to have to look into that. Our equipment's a little bit dirty here. We're not going to say this is put away for the season yet. We do need to get a pressure washer on this farm. Um, I don't want to use the base game pressure washer. I had another mod in mind. so. We're gonna get that set up here for next uh, episode as we uh, do some miscellaneous odd jobs next episode. We're gonna be setting up for spring. We're going to be uh, finding, finishing out some parts of our farm, things like a pressure washer and things that are missing. And uh, we'll see, we might have a couple other uh, small surprises up our sleeves, some small additions. We're gonna keep uh, working on things. I've really enjoyed this uh, truck and trailer setup though for getting started here on our small farm. This worked out awesome and I'm really really excited that two pallets of seed ended up being perfect for our two fields here. 
Um, I think that if we hadn't had some of the earlier shenanigans and replants the, on our headlands, it wouldn't have been quite this close. I think we would have had just a little bit of extra seeds. So we're in a really good spot and we've got plenty of liquid fertilizer left over here that we're going to be able to uh, use that here in the next uh, couple of episodes uh, to get our crops fertilized once they pop up here. And so everything is coming together awesome on this series. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. It is going to be a little bit of a short one as I'm recording this on the 4th of July holiday. And so I'm going to get an episode out today because I know everybody's really excited about this. Uh, and as we get into uh, next week, hopefully things will get back into a normal cadence here. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, drop a like. It helps the channel out a lot. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for daily farm sim content. That's all for today. Ketterk out. Our controls are a little touchy. Don't crash. There we go. Oh, why is it not stopping? It feels good to be on the last plas... Last plas... Blue.